uh, patient privilege, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to take my conversation to my doctor. And my doctor is the person who has to tell me what's good for me, what isn't good for me. Right. Um, and no one outside of my family has the right to tell me what my family can do with their body if they need to get something done. I, I, there's no law saying you must have an abortion. So I don't understand. And, and people keep saying, well, because the federal government's paying for it. Well, actually, they're not. But what makes you think that, that overturning Roe v. Wade is off the table when we have seen... I don't say it's off the table. I don't think it will be overturned. You know? I'm just not well, so sure about I that. Can I know. go back to the yeah. Alyssa Milano aspect of this? Sure. I don't like collectivism as like a general rule. And that, that sort of means like you click on something, you like something, you retweet something, and that makes you feel like you're, you know, d doing more than you think in the world. She was asked by the AP yesterday how long this sex strike should last, and she said... I mean, I don't know. I sent a tweet last night. I haven't really thought much past that this morning. Now, to me, that's not a really good way to put in action. You know, if you if you have a problem with this bill, that doesn't seem like the smartest way to put your your thoughts and your advocacy into action. Mm -hmm. I will say um, boycotting tends to work. I mean, the trans bathroom bill was impacted. I believe it was PayPal that, that dropped out of uh, putting their headquarters in that state. Mm -hmm. So there are three production companies right now that have vowed that they're no longer going to film in Georgia. Killer, yeah. fla Killer Films, Blown Deadline Productions, and Duplass Brothers Productions. And Alyssa Milano is an actress. So in mm -hmm. theory, she could do something with the, the, the you know, television and movies that are created in Georgia often. I know the which Walker Dead is a big deal there. because but Georgia I, just has... really quick, I'm incredibly pro-life as everyone knows, and I don't really want to relitigate my stance on abortion versus yours. I think we've had that conversation many times. Uh -huh. I do think that people like Alyssa Milano need to understand that there are women aren't just one section of the population that are like her. I always feel like pro-life women are just completely left out of conversations like this but, in one way or another, and it doesn't even occur to her that there are women like me out there that don't have a problem with this But let's talk bill. about the men instead of the women. Sure. Let's talk yeah. about why are men having such a war against women? Why is the Republican Party try, trying to set women back 50 years or 75 years? Why do they want us to go back to the kitchen barefoot and pregnant? Why? What are they so it's not, threatened by? It's not by? what I want. It's a difference of the way you view life. If you believe it starts at conception or if you believe that it doesn't. For me, I believe that life starts but at conception. But they want to regulate my body. Why don't they regulate guns, for example? The they thing, don't do that. It's the same thing. people. The thing that I don't understand in this is that I mean, there are a few things I don't understand in this, but telling women to use their bodies as a bargaining chip, to me, doesn't seem very feminist. And I also think the sexual revolution happened so women could have the agency to have sex with whomever they wanted, and part of the sexual revolution was the access to birth control. So you're yes. leaving out birth control from this conversation entirely as a whole, and I stand by the fact that I think this is collectivism. That's the next Look, step. I, th well, I think, um, you know, a, a few things. I, th I think that... Pro-choice women would say that they feel left out of the conversation, for example, when some of these things are, are being pro -choice? discussed. I don't know. You know, I am pro-people doing whatever they want, and I don't, like to do, I don't like to reduce this topic to black and white, because I think there's a lot of nuances. I think incest is a nuance. I think rape is a, nu a nuance. I think having a child that you can't afford is a nuance. I think having a child that's going to come into this world with, with great deformities. And I come at this as the sister of a, of a, you know, of a man who is 54 years old and has got the mental and motor skills of a 10-month-old kid. So I know what that does to a family. And my parents made the choice, but I don't think it was a choice back then. Mm -hmm. They are able to do it. But there are some families that I know can't afford it and who just simply yeah. can't do it because they need yeah. to show up and work but I every think, day. And but I, I think, refuse to stand in judgment of other people. And I don't want other people think, standing in judgment of me. But I think you have so to understand that for pro-life women like yeah. me, which is a very strong tenet of who I am and how I view the world, I believe that abortion is murder. So the idea that there's gray in allowing murder in the United States Except of America... That that's okay that you feel that. No one yeah. is saying right. you can't feel or believe that. But for those people who don't believe that, why, why are you saying... But the idea that I'm passing judgment because I don't think this is a gray issue, to me, is like, it's very... It's also reductive in the conversation. And again, again, I just think women like me are always left out no, of... I'm not but passing you, judgment like on you, you, but I just don't want anybody okay passing are. judgment else does. Uh, on me. No, but look, honestly, I think what we need to do on, on this conversation is I'd like mm -hmm. to see 
much more doctors and medical experts well, involved. Yeah. Get it out the of science, politics. By the way, overwhelmingly shows that life does start at conception. The science backs oh, it. And people, liberals always want to believe science when it comes to climate change and things like that. When it comes to life, that is your always, belief. That is your you belief. You don't believe science. The so, science so that backs it up. Something. Here's what I, what I don't want to do. Don't say you don't believe. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I don't believe that the minute you conceive, you are with child. Mm -hmm. I believe a lot of things have to happen. Baby has to become zygote. There have to be all kinds of things going on. But the problem for me is I, I'm happy that you feel that way. I want mm -hmm. everybody who feels that way to feel that way. What I don't want is I don't want anyone telling me what I have to feel. And and, that's my, that's and my are, problem. And, and to your point, I mean, there are people like me who would agree with Megan that mm -hmm. because I am pro-life yes. by faith, I, I certainly also believe that life begins at conception. Mm -hmm. But I also believe, like Anna, I don't want to voice my beliefs yes. on anyone else. Yeah. I think so other people right. have the right to... You're not pro-life, you're pro-choice. Well, well, I, yeah. I also yes. don't you want are, to be yeah. told that I am pro-choice because I am a different type of pro-life. I believe in people only, having the choice. Well, I, I not I, I only... Think, wait a second, funny, though, but it's, can it's I finish nuanced. this thought? Oh, it's nuanced for me because I not only believe in... Uh, I, I'm against abortion, I believe in pro-life, but I also am against the death penalty because I believe that everyone is entitled to redemption. I also believe in gun control because I don't believe, I, I believe that there is the sanctity of life at the other side of a gun as well. So I'm a different type of, of pro-life. There is, I'm consistent. So yeah. there, there's a yeah. nuance there when uh, you're talking about I, being pro-life. Like, I understand we'll be it back. can be. Sorry, right. we'll be back. Later, you mad? Why President Trump's nickname for Democrats?